Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can build an animated counter text in Jetpack Compose. For example, if you have things like a countdown timer or something else, then you can implement something like this, which looks very cool. And the special thing about that is, once we hit two digits, then only the number that actually changes will, will be animated. So not the whole number, which you often see in other tutorials. Um, nope, we will do a real counter animation here. Um, and this is actually a little bit tricky, so by watching this you also learn a lot about animations in Jetpack Compose and how you can animate a very cool counter like this. Let's jump into Android Studio right away and in here we want to create a new composable in a Jetpack Compose project obviously. Um, not a new package, new composable called animated counter. Select file, make that a composable called animated counter and that needs some parameters. On the one hand, we want to pass the count in form of an integer. We want to be able to pass a modifier, which is equal to the default modifier. And we want to pass a style, which is simply a text style, in case we want to change the appearance of our text. So just, um, yeah, let's set that to material, theme, typography, body one by default. And then we want to implement this function. So how will this in animation work? Because in the end, we only want to animate the digits that actually changed. So if both change, then both will be animated. If only one changes, then only that one should be animated and updated. So if we want this behavior, we actually need to work with multiple uh, text composables. So this is not just one text. These are actually, or this is actually a text composable for every single digit. And in the end, what we need to do is we need the animated content composable, which we can use to um, create an animation when content is swapped out in Jetpack Compose. So when, when we have one composable and it gets swapped out with another composable, in this case, this five would be our one composable and it will be updated with another composable, which would be the number six. So that means we also somehow need to keep track of the old digit um, because that is the old composable where we want to animate from and then the new digit which is number six here so it gets replaced with that one. How can we do this? We need to keep track of that by having a variable old count by remember and this is a mutable state off and it simply starts at our current count because when we start at the first um, kind of function call here uh, then we won't actually have an old count. So we just set it to the current count. So how do we now really get that old count? Because as soon as our composable function updates, this count state will be updated and the kind of old count will be lost. Um, so we kind of need a way to update this old count on every single recomposition. And if we want to do that, we can use this side effect composable. In the side effect block, um, this will be called on every single uh, successful recomposition after that, we simply want to set the old count to our current count. So if we update our animated counter, let's say from, um, let's say the, the, th the count is one and we update it with two, then this function will be called with two. Then after the recomposition, the side effect uh, block will be called setting the old count to two. And that way we can kind of keep that local reference to the old count here so that when we then implement the animation, we can um, still have both these text composables, one for the old count and one for the new count. So then in here, for the actual counter, we want to have a row where we simply pass our modifier. And this row will just kind of push all of our single digit text composables together. And first of all, we want to have our count string. So I want to take our count and convert it to a string. So we say count dot two string. And we want to have the same for our old count. So old count string is old count to string. Because that way we can very easily just find out the digits that changed. And now we want to have a for loop. So for every single i in count string dot indices, so for every single um, yeah character we have in our count string, we now loop over that and want to display that number. We first of all want to get a reference to the old character. So after the number changed, we now want this reference to the old character to know if there was an old character. So we can say val well, old character is equal to old count string dot get or null at our index i. We need to use get or null here because it could be that our 
new count actually got a new digit and then this could be an invalid index. So if this is null here, then we will simply just display the text as a normal text without any animation. And we want a new char, um, a new character. Uh, we want to replace the old one with, and that is simply our count string, uh, count string at the index i. So here the index out of bounds can't happen because we just loop over these indices here directly. And now to determine the character we want to show for that specific digit that changed or maybe did not change, we want to say val character is equal to if old character is equal to new character. If that is the case, we want to get the character we animate from our old count string, get or, or I think we should be able to just access the index directly here at i and else we take our actual count string here at the index of i. So if we now go ahead below this and we say we have animated content which again is used once this target state here changes where we can say we use our character. So whenever the character changes to either the um, old character or the new character then we want to execute this block of code here. And I will explain this in a bit more detail in a moment. Um, we want to opt in this experimental animation API here, pressing Alt Enter. And then in here, we simply want to display our text, where the text is our character. We want to show, and we can also get this reference here. And then we want to assign our text style. I want to set soft wrap to false. So we just make sure that this. Um, does not overflow when the text does not fit in its container. And we actually need to say character dot to string. So let's go through this again, maybe because this is probably quite some uh, complex piece of code. First of all, um, we loop through all of our new indices. So if we update our our count to let's say uh, let's say 100, then we will execute this for loop once for the first one and then for the second zero and the third zero. So we just go through our whole string and execute this follow block once for every single character. Then we go ahead and check if at this certain position in our count, if there was also an old digit in our old count. We check the same if there is, um, or we, we just get a reference to the new digit. And then we check, did these digits actually change? So if old character is equal to new character, then we don't need to update our digit because the number did not change at that position. So then we can simply leave the character at our old count string. So at whatever the count was at that position before. For example, if we take, a, take this example again here, since if I now click increment, this two won't change, we don't need to animate it. And since the old character, which is the two, and the new character, which is also the two, since if I click increment, it will be 29 and the two won't change. That's why we can simply leave it at the old character, which is still number two. However, if the old character and the new character do differ, like for this eight, for example, then we instead take the character of our new count. So this would be the nine in this case. And since that would change this target state, we will animate this text composable to the new character, which will be number nine. And right now this animation will work, but we don't have this sliding animation yet. We also want to um, add that, which is pretty easy with this animated content. We can simply say we have a transition spec. And in here we can then define how our animation actually looks like. First of all, we want to use slide in vertically. Um, that is used for the incoming or the new text that was updated. So our new count. And here we want to simply slide that in vertically where we can simply pass it. That just means that we just have a normal sliding animation. So in here we get this um, integer which simply refers to the height of our composable. If we pass it here, then that just means we have one full um, transition or sliding from the bottom. We could also say it divided by two, then the sliding would start at exactly half of the height of the composable, which we don't want here. And then here we also need to say with, uh, with a certain exit transition, which is slide out vertically. So this is now relevant for the text that is leaving the, compos uh, the composition. And here we can then pass minus it. So we simply move it up by its height. And then if we now go to main activity and add this to our code, we should hopefully see a working example. So if we say we have a box here, um, or let's not use a box, let's use a column. Where we say we have a modifier that fills the whole size of our screen. 
and we say a vertical arrangement is center, horizontal arrangement is center, and then here we can add our animated counter where the count is, let's say, a count state by remember mm, mutable state off zero initially import get value import this again and then simply add this count here and we want to have a button below to increase this where we simply want to say okay count plus plus the text is increment and there we go we should be able to launch this and hopefully see a working example here there we go it's a bit small and let's actually pass a text size before we test this well let's test it first if it works yes that looks quite good like a counter yes let's make it a bit larger so we see it in its whole beauty <laughs> by passing a text style here um, so style is let's say material theme typography h1 let's make it really large launch that and uh, there we go here we have our working counter example which is looking quite nice so i hope this taught you something new and if you actually want to become an industry ready android developer i have a lot of premium courses in this video's description for you where you learn how you can build large scaling apps how it's done in the industry so if that sounds interesting to you check the first link in this video's description apart from that i wish you an amazing rest of your week and i will see you back in the next video bye bye